Welcome to Sculpture Studios. Some people order small popcorn, some people order large, but here we've got an order for a super-sized bucket. Louise from Popcorn discovered us on the net and asked us to make some larger-than-life popcorn pieces with an old-style movie box. Each piece had to be approximately 700mm long in proportion to the size of the box. As real popcorn explodes and turns itself inside out in random fashions, we had to make sure we made these in a nice random style as well. To begin we cut blocks of polystyrene into small pieces and carve them using wire brushes and sandpaper. We use acetone to melt the inside of the poly away, to hollow it out, and this also creates a hard interior shell. We have to be careful when doing this however, so as not to burn all the way through the material. Each of the individual pieces are then foamed and joined together, using 5-10 to 10 different bits to make up one assembled piece of popcorn. These polystyrene shapes need to be lightweight, so they can be hung from the ceiling on location in the Popcorn Company building. For the purpose of display, the client has asked for four of the pieces to be coated in glass fibre, so they could be touched and handled without being damaged. We gave four of them an application of sticky back foil to protect the polystyrene and gave each piece a blanket of fiberglass, which make them sturdier and more durable to touch and move around. Once all of the polystyrene pieces are finished and the resin is dry on the other four, everything is given a base layer of emulsion paint in a creamy yellowish colour. Then we dry brush with a dusty layer of white on top to give that corn look effect. In order to speed up the process of creating 20 of these, we had a few people on board for this project in order to get the job finished on time. The next step is starting to create the box. Here we're cutting out complete sheets of fiberglass mat to make up each side, and we're going to lay it up 4 ounces thick, so it's going to be nice and strong. We laminate onto really flat boards, so the gel coat on the surface of the cast has a really smooth finish as well, and minimal cleaning up is required. As the base colour of the box is going to be white, with the red sprayed on later, we're adding a white pigment to the resin in the gel coat to give us this initial base colour. Once each of the four sides is set, we use a frame to butt them up together at 90 degree angles and we secure the joining edge with fiberglass. When the four pieces are joined, we create a wooden base for the bottom so the pieces always stay aligned and the box won't bow and sway if it's ever laid down on its side. We leave a hole in this base so that weights can be placed at the bottom of the box by either dropping them in from the top opening or placed from underneath. By using this method, it allows the box to be weighted to the ground on location and still lets it be moved around as opposed to having a permanent fix into the floor. At the top of the box we've created a shelf so that a top plate can be put in and this is added so that the polystyrene pieces of popcorn can be stacked on top of the box and only a few pieces are needed to make it look as though the box is full. We allow this plate to be removable rather than fixing it in so all of the polystyrene pieces can be put inside the box during transport to keep them nice and safe. It only seems right that the client receives the box with all the popcorn inside and then takes them out to set them up for display. Beginning work on the graphics now, we transpose the image onto the full size box, blowing it up using a projector and we mask up the design like you would with a car body. We're actually using a car body paint here for the red as this two pack application gives a really solid colour and a nice durable finish. We peel off the masking tape once the paintwork is dry, being careful not to pull off any of the red as well, and here you can see the design being revealed in complete real time. The client requested that rather than this old style logo that came with the original concept image, they wanted to tailor it to them and have their own company logo printed on the front. So we had a vinyl graphic made to their exact requirements from the logo they sent us, and we transferred this onto the front of the box. This was a nice fun project to work on, as it's always enjoyable making large pieces of pop art style sculpture. Please feel free to leave any comments below, as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button for our latest videos. You can like Sculpture Studios on Facebook, and for more of our work, visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching.